Welcome back everyone! Although there has been no shortage of hypothetical trade ideas involving Russell Westbrook, today I'm here to offer another one, albeit one that could actually make a lot of sense. We have already talked about what a trade with the Charlotte Hornets, Indiana Pacers, and even Oklahoma City Thunder could look like, but a new team that could potentially be a real option happens to be the Utah Jazz. Following yet another disappointing year, many Utah Jazz fans are calling for change. And not only do the fans want change, but some rumors have hinted at Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert wanting it too. Now, I am well aware that Rudy Gobert came out and denied those rumors, but from the outside looking in, it's hard to imagine that even he would be willing to move forward with their current team. In my opinion, it's undeniable that the Utah Jazz need to do something different, and whether that involves completely blowing it up or simply making a few trades, they need to do something. However, with them having a number of bloated contracts, it will not be particularly easy for them to do that, and especially not if they are completely blowing it up. And while I do not imagine that they would have any interest in Russell Westbrook the player, they could have interest in the expiring contract that he owns. Like I have referred to in prior videos, even a massive expiring contract like his can potentially hold value. Trading for a contract like his can help a team get rid of long term contracts that they no longer want, along with helping them turn their team in a different direction. And if turning their team in a different direction does not perfectly describe what the Utah Jazz need to do, then I don't know what does. Now, there are obviously other contracts around the league that they could do this with as well, but Westbrook's contract would undoubtedly be a viable option for them if they do indeed make changes. Now that we got through why a trade might make sense for Utah though, why would a trade with them benefit the Lakers, or what would a trade even look like? And well, given how many large contracts the Utah Jazz have on their payroll, it's hard to narrow down what one singular trade alone would look like. However, I believe they could find common ground on a mutually beneficial trade, and one that would undoubtedly involve Westbrook. Now, I know the main attraction here would definitely be Donovan Mitchell, but in reality, he probably would not be a realistic one. Unless Donovan Mitchell would outright demand a trade to the Lakers to help it happen, I don't think the Lakers have enough to entice Utah to give him up. In order to make that trade happen, they would without a doubt have to include both of their first round picks, a young talented player like Austin Reeves, and probably have to take on a bad contract or two as well. But even then, I don't think the Jazz would willingly give him up without a specific trade demand, and because of that, we are not going to focus on Donovan Mitchell. Nor are we going to be focusing on Rudy Gobert either, and it's not from his value being too high or anything like that. In fact, it's really quite the opposite, because in my opinion, Rudy Gobert has one of the worst contracts in the entire NBA. So rather than trying to trade for either of them, we are going to be looking at a few other large contracts on their team, all of which would be much more realistic, and honestly, probably more beneficial for the Lakers to target through a trade. And the two players that immediately stand out are Mike Conley and Bojan Bogdanovic, both of which would be ideal to trade for from both a fit and contract perspective. If both of them are included in a trade, their combined salary is enough to match the contract of Westbrook, which would automatically make them the simple option. It's not only about them being able to make the money match up though, in reality, they are probably the two most likely candidates for Utah to trade. If they truly hope to build a contender around Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert, then they are going to have to switch up their primary role players. And with Bogdanovich and Conley being their third and fourth highest paid players, they would definitely need to be moved in order for that to happen. Even if Utah would instead turn in the direction of a rebuild, a trade like this one would still make a lot of sense. It would allow them to offload both of their contracts, and to potentially get draft compensation in return for them. Now, I'm not sure they could get a first round pick here primarily due to Conley having a bad contract as well, but maybe a first round pick swap, or potentially a second round pick or two. And even going beyond fit here, being able to offload Westbrook without having to give up much draft compensation would make this trade ideal for LA. Again, I'm not entirely sure what Utah would demand here, 
but it would not be as much compared to what they would likely have to give up in a trade involving Charlotte, Indiana, or even Detroit. But in regard to how Conley and Bogdanovich would actually fit their team though, I think both of them would fit fairly well. I would not call either of them ideal fits, but both are significantly better fits compared to Westbrook, and it could be a step in the right direction to turn their team back into a contender. Conley could be the point guard option that they have been looking for, one who actually fits well on the court with LeBron, and most importantly, one who would not be a disruption in their locker room. And then with Bogdanovich, although he is not the wing defender that they might want, he would be a great fit for them on offense. A guy who can put up around 18 points per game and shoot 39% from beyond the arc, he would appear to be a near perfect fit on offense around LeBron and AD. Now we do need to acknowledge that both of them are aging, but then again, that would only help them to get rid of Westbrook. They would not appear to have to give up much draft compensation to make this trade happen, and if that is truly one of their top priorities, then a trade like this one could be a real option. But other than a trade with Utah involving only Bogdanovich and Conley, what other combinations could be a possibility? And well, like I referred to before, it all depends on the direction that Utah is moving in, but if they go full rebuild, then Jordan Clarkson or maybe Royce O'Neal could be available too. Rather than including both Conley and Bogdanovich in the trade, you could swap one of them out for a combination of O'Neal and Clarkson. Because when you put their contracts together, they equate to about $20 million, which is pretty much the equivalent to the contract of either Conley or Bogdanovich. Although, swapping them out for Conley could increase the amount of draft compensation needed to make the trade happen, as Conley's contract was the one thing making it a fair swap. In conclusion though, the Utah Jazz could be a dark horse trade candidate for the Lakers if they enter a rebuild, or even if they want to simply get rid of Conley and Bogdanovich, then trading for Westbrook could be a real option. And in my opinion, a trade like this one would, and should definitely be one that intrigues the Lakers, any Westbrook trade that could improve their team, while at the same time save them draft compensation, should definitely be one that they consider. But with all of that being said, that will conclude my thoughts on a potential Westbrook trade involving the Utah Jazz. And what do you guys think? Where would you rank this trade in the hypothetical Westbrook trade idea leaderboard? And yes, that is actually a real thing at this point. Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.